Laylatul Qadr and the reality of Qadr. To be very simplistic, why should we make dua on Laylatul Qadr? Because on this night, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala announces the decrees of the next year. And assignments are given to the angels in charge. And so one land will suffer a drought. The angels will say no clouds are going to go there. Another land will get rain. The angels know on this day the rain will come. This is right now being announced on Laylatul Qadr. A person will fall sick. Another person will be cured. A person will die. Another couple will give birth. And they were begging Allah for years. And this year they will give birth. They will have a child by a miracle from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This Qadr is being announced tonight or whatever is Laylatul Qadr. Now, our Prophet ﷺ said, nothing changes Qadr except Dua. Dua has the potentiality to affect Qadr. Now, people ask, how is that possible? To be very simplistic, there are five levels of Qadr. And Dua changes the lower levels and the higher levels, Allah Azza wa Jal knows that the lower levels will be changed. In the end, Allah Azza wa Jal knows everything. Nothing surprises Allah, obviously. Allah does not change astaghfirullah, His mind as we would do. No, Allah knows what's going to happen, but the angels don't know. And the ones assigned don't know. So tonight on Laylatul Qadr, whenever Laylatul Qadr is, every angel will be given the roster, the assignment. Every single angel will be told, this is what needs to be done. Before that list is given, you have the potential to affect it. You have the potential to change Qadr for the next year. That's the whole purpose of us making dua this night. And in a higher level, in the knowledge of Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for example, Allah might have will so-and-so has fallen sick, he's going to die this year. But because he made dua, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will postpone and give him extra time. Now the angels did not know the change is going to happen, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knew. So the point is, on this night of Laylatul Qadr, we have the potential to affect our Qadr in a way that only Allah Azza wa Jal knows. Dua changes Qadr. And that is one of the main incentives for us to be making Dua. Our piety, our taqwa, our beseeching Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has the potential to change our future. So then, why would you not be making dua this night? Why would you not be busy begging and beseeching Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And of course, the most important duas are the duas for hidayah, the duas for maghfirah, the duas to be saved from jahannam and to cause to be entered jannah. And also brothers and sisters, as we make dua on this special night, please do not forget to make dua for your brothers and sisters around the world. It is a sign of iman and taqwa. 